My story is very much the story of Oliver Button. It is still relevant in that there are still children growing up knowing that they are somehow different. They might not have the vocabulary, they don't know that they are gay as such, but they know they are different. The story resonates. One thing in the story, Oliver Button is always chosen last for any team. And the captain will say, oh rats, we have to have Oliver Button on our team. Now we'll lose for sure. And of course I heard that, oh, we've got to have Bruce on our team. Now we'll lose for sure. And I know I'm not the only gay man who heard that as a child. I have to practice every day. It was 1978 when I was 16 and came out, and it was not okay, not with anybody in school, not with my parents. I distanced myself from my family for a good six or seven years. It did get amazing. My dad came down to see the very first Cincinnati Men's Chorus concert that I did and just was in tears, proud, afterwards. And it was the first time we had seen each other in like six years, and it was really important. And we had found the thing that we could click with, and ever since then, they were never ashamed of me after that. Testimony um, is unquestionably the song that touches me the most. Hearing San Francisco perform it, I'd never heard the piece before. And I just sat there hearing them just kind of go through the phases of going from being closeted and borderline suicidal all the way through to this survivalist and empowering um, musical uh, arrangement. And I, I just felt like it was my story and it was something that I felt um, enabled me to feel understood in a way that I hadn't before. For me, the idea of how, how it gets amazing, it gets more than amazing, it gets astounding, is that finally in my 30s, um, I have a family that is fully accepting, treats my partner of 20 years as my spouse, um, and I live an incredibly authentic life. And much of that is because uh, a great deal of that growth took place in the last seven years because of my involvement with the chorus. There's three legs of our, our mission. It's political, it's community, and it's, and it's family. And it's every time we walk on stage, we commit a political act to this day. And, and every time we sing out as gay men, we reach somebody in the audience, or lots of people in the audience. And we help our families come out as well. How can I keep, how can I, can, how can I keep from singing?